Get it, can you come real closer? Yeah. We'll make sure the sound. Um, we're gonna spread it out then, making the edges nice. And we're gonna keep it no more than three to four inches thick. And, and flat. When you have it more than three to four inches thick, the roots tend to, the non-woody roots tend to grow up into the mulch. And when they grow up into the mulch, uh, after a couple consecutive days, this gradation of mulch will dry out and those roots will die prematurely. And when they die prematurely, an abscission zone doesn't form where they're connected to the parent root um, that normally seals off the connection and with thus leaving an opening for uh, some small microorganisms that would like to do nasty things to a tree to get in. So we want to keep the mulch no more than three to four inches thick and flat, at least six inches away from the trunk of the tree, and not fresh chips. Fresh chips have protoplasm smeared all over the place, and that attracts undesirables that can and do do nasty things above ground as well as below ground the trees. I'm not an alarmist about insects and fungi and bacteria and what have you. Um, however, I am concerned about the uh, problems associated with fresh chips that could incite a disease. So up here, what we have here, see, this is, this, is, this is too close to the trunk. So we have to move it back at least six inches from the trunk of the tree. Because too often in the urban areas, we have trees that are planted too deep. And when they're planted too deep, too often the roots tend to grow straight up and girdle the tree. And when we pile the mulch against the trunk of the tree, it creates a dark, moist environment, which is conducive for root growth. And then we'll have masses of non-woody roots around the trunk that are going to dry out and die prematurely and has the potential to cause all types of problems. And, and as long as your mulch, your chips are composted for at least a year, you're going to greatly reduce your chances of getting artillery fungus on your house. And these are composted tree trimmings, trees that are common to our area. These are tree trimmings from trees, from tree workers from our area. So we're pretty much dealing with the same species of tree. These are uh, pin oak trees, and I'm sure the pin oaks are very happy that they're being mulched because they just don't do very well with the turf. So if you do find that you have mulch, our, 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 the soil has uh, pretty much uh, I don't know the proper term, digested or have processed the, uh, the mulch that we've put down in the past. And now we just have soil with residual lignin left. So. You can spread a little bit more out here, John. A little bit more here. 